What's up guys, Dave here at Mining Dudes. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to set up your config for Zcash. Um, so this is what your miner is going to look like out of the box. Um, so the first thing you want to do is make sure your power cord is connected. You want to flip the switch on. You want to make sure that your monitor is connected. You have your ethernet cord in. Your USBs for your mouse and keyboard. Once you're all set to go, you want to click the power button. Everything's going to come up. You want to give it uh, about a minute for it to get going. You should see the splash screen for the motherboard come up. You should then see the splash screen for EthOS. You'll see that it detects the three. Once you have the uh, desktop come up for EthOS, you're going to see um, all your GPUs online on the left hand side. It's going to show you the hash rate for each GPU as well as the temperature. You're also going to see a link to get to the dashboard as well as the IP of your machine. On the right hand side is where you're going to have your terminal window. The first thing you're going to want to do is type G, edit, and click enter. This is going to bring up uh, the text editor. might take a second since we're just coming up. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you disable the remote config. If you're just operating a single machine or just a couple machines, you're just going to want to use a local config. Uh, we'll set up another video to show you how to set up a remote config if you do have a whole farm going. Uh, but for now, we're just going to disable it. So the first thing you want to do is file, open, and we're going to open the remote config file. You want to make sure that uh, you either have the pound sign in here to comment this line out, or you can even just totally delete it. Once you do that, click save. The next thing you want to do is open your local config. And these are the settings you're going to want to have. Global Miner, EWBF-Zcash. You might want to pause this screen to get all these settings correct. Uh, we use Flypool for Zcash. So this is the settings for Flypool, and this is where you're going to put your wallet address. Your wallet address you're going to get from your exchange or your or your uh, hardware wallet or whatever you're using. Um, but these are the settings you want to use for Zcash. So please pause your screen now and copy these settings. After you get that in, you want to click save. Gonna close this window. We're going to go back to the, uh, to the terminal window. And the first thing you want to do is you're going to type put config and restart proxy. And this is the code for that. Once you type that, you're going to click enter. It's going to let you know that the remote config is not formatted correctly and it's going to use the local config. The next thing you're going to want to do is mine stop. That's going to terminate it. You want to do a mine start. It's going to restart the miner. And then to check the output of it, you want to type show miner. This is going to show you the shares that are coming in and uh, basically going to show you that it's hashing. Um, sometimes if it doesn't go correctly, the best thing to do is you want to click control C on your keyboard. It's going to go back to the terminal window and just type the letter R and click enter and this is going to restart your machine and when it comes back up you'll be hashing.